Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use recursiveness in your programs. Now this is a very important part of programming because it's used in like everything. So I'll try and explain it to you in a way that's not going to confuse you to hell and I'll be using one of the examples from the books that I've been reading which is kind of useful. So um, first we're just going to call it inside of our um, main method we're just going to say um, fact uh, I don't know 10 and now what we're going to end up doing here is actually doing the factorial of 10 now if you don't know what a factorial is it's basically multiplying every number below the number you give so like the factorial of 2 would be 1 times 2 or the factorial of 4 would be uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and so on so we're actually going to make a function do that using recursiveness and so it's actually pretty simple um, may sound complicated but don't worry so we're going to say public um, long and then we'll say I don't know uh, oh yeah we said fact up there so we'll call it fact and it'll take long integer n. Okay, so um, one second, what's this? Oh, okay, yeah. Return. Uh, well, we'll get to that later. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is say if n is less than or equal to 1, then what we want to do is just return n. Now the reason we want to do that is because well n if it's 1 will just be equal to itself. Um, if it's less than 1 well you can't you don't use numbers in a factorial less than 1 so 0 doesn't really apply. Uh, so yeah. So if it's less than or equal to 1 then return n. Else what we're going to do is actually say um, return fact or we're going to return n times fact of n minus 1. Now the reason we're doing that is because it actually will um, it's going to essentially call this function again. So if we chose a number like 3, first it would say, okay, is 3 less than or equal to 1? No. Okay, well, then it goes down here. So then we're going to do 3 times this function of 3 minus 1. So then it'll say, is 2 less than or equal to 1? No. Okay. Um, well, then we'll go down here. Okay. 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, is that 1? Yes. So that gives it 1. And so it's 1 times 2 times 3, because it'll go back through all the memory once it reaches 1 from this being called until this is called. So that's essentially what this is going to do. Um, let me look at what error we're getting. Um, System dot out dot print line. That fix it? Nope. Okay. Static. There we go. Okay. So now we actually have a fully working program which will find the factorial of 10. And we'll have it print out down here. So let's actually run this and see what we get. If everything worked out, we should get a huge number. And we do. And it actually should be the answer. I'm not going to check it because I can't do factorial of 10 in my head. But yeah, there you go. It actually works. Good. Now, let's open up paint. I'll try and draw you guys a picture of what is going on here. So, um, move this down. So we have something like the factorial of 5. So, factorial of 5. And what we do first when we call this function of fact 
is we check if it's equal to 1. It's not equal to 1. So what we do is we go, okay, well, what's the factorial of the number below it? And it's like, oh, okay, well, that would be 4 then. So let's call this for 4 and so on. So essentially, they'll say, okay, so we want to times this by the uh, factorial of 4. So we actually end up with 5 times factorial 4. And that's what the exclamation point means, if you guys don't know that either. But what this ends up doing is going through all the numbers until it gets to 1. So it'll actually end up just saying 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, and 60 times 2 is 120. And I can, since I can do that in my head, I'll show you guys that example as well. So if we go back here and edit this to 5, and then run our program, we get 120. And so that's pretty much the idea of recursiveness, is you're going to do something over and over again until it um, gives you an answer. Um, usually it's by calling this function. Uh, you could have like two separate functions and have one function call the other function over and over again until it returns something. And so we could have like the factorial of 5 times factorial of 5 and have like another function call this function over and over again. That would also be recursiveness. So essentially we're just going to keep going until we can get an answer and then go back and solve everything else that we weren't able to do. So with 5, we're not able to just go, okay, factorial 5, done. It has to say, okay, well, we're going to have to keep running this on our number until it gets down to 1 so that we can return a number and then use that number to solve all the others. So say factorial 5, we can't do that. We can't do factorial 4, we can't do factorial 3. But we know what the factorial of 1 is. So we can just go, okay, factorial of 1 is 1, so 2 times 1, th and so forth, and we'll end up getting our correct answer. Um, I hope that made sense to you guys. Uh, recursiveness becomes really important and really, really effective once you get comfortable with it. So try and make some programs on your own using something like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be a factorial program. Uh, it'd probably be better if you didn't use a factorial program. That way you know exactly how to use recursiveness on your own without using an example. You can edit this one if you want. Just do something that involves recursiveness and it'll get stuck in your head and then you'll be like a pro at recursiveness. So, yeah. Um, also, as you guys can see, I'm making videos again. I had issue with um, accidentally removing the MBR from Windows. Uh, long story with that, just be sure that when you're messing with operating systems that you always have an installation disk so that you can repair it. Very important. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button. That always helps. Uh, subscribe if you want to see the future videos and favorite if you really liked it because then that helps me more than anything else. So I'll be seeing you guys later. Have a nice day.